very much. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Waziri Owalo, Elid Owalo. Thank you. I, in our program now, we are almost we are almost coming to an end. Uh, it's my privilege and honor to invite. Uh, President Johor will not believe this. I'll invite my uncle, Prime Minister Raila Odinga. <laughs> Thank you. Hello. Mama Barbara Magoha. Uh, my brother, President Uhuru Migaya Kinyata. The clergy. Philomonas Hamjambo. We will come to pay tribute and farewell to a great Kenyan. And I want to say without fear of contradiction that right inside that coffin lies a great man. We will come because of the tragedy that has befallen us. Shakespeare said in Julius Caesar that cowards die many times before their death, but the brave do not taste of death but once. So let it be with George. A lot has already been said about George. And I want to basically confirm that everything that has been said about George is true. I came to know George when he was still a young man. Because his elder brother was spoken here. John Obaretula. Udalonyo more. Uimokumede moro. These are the people who received me when I came back from Europe, in Nairobi. John, his other late cousin Rangela Odundo, Michael Kinyanyi, Javan Shavanga, or Kajurman Bondo. Those are the people who received me in Nairobi and showed me the way of Nairobi. They're the ones who took me to the Ngong races. Bigger for us. And it is through that relationship that I got to know uh, Professor. He was then a student at the Stockholm College and a very diligent student, as you can see from his record. He excelled academically, but he was a very, very humble person. Humility was his way of life. He recognized everybody. Some people say that Magoha was arrogant. I say no. Magoha was just a straight talking person. And if people don't like, sometimes you hear the truth. You will say it the way you say saying it. You love it or not, but you say it. And uh, he has excelled, as you have seen, wherever he's been, wherever he's gone to. That's why when my brother one time asked me, well, what do you think about this man? Do you think he can be, make a good minister for education? I had no hesitation saying, yes, this fellow will not disappoint you. 
And he did as he, he's got the president is going to confirm to you, he did not disappoint in that position. He has done a lot of things in his career as a medical doctor, as a teacher, and as a minister. So all those are actually recorded there, I don't want to repeat them. But it was something, and people were actually, some of his colleagues around say, oh, Magoha is not helping us. He's not helping the Luos in the field of academia. Magoha would say that, look, I don't need to help Luos. The only way I can help Luos is ensuring that there is a level playing field. There's no cheating in the examinations. And then the Luos will excel. Give an opportunity, equal opportunity, will excel. So I want to give, give equality, set the standard for each and every Kenyan child to be able to acquire quality education. And this he did very well. So I am proud to have been associated with Magoha. As you've been told, their mother comes from my village. I used to call him Uruwaya. Uruwaya. And he has been somebody who is rare in his words, is speaks with very, very few words, but he does more things, and what he does has been seen. That's why I'm happy that so many people have come today here to witness his last wedding. And we were given an honor that is given to a low hero. A low hero is mourned the way we are mourned. The Nigerians there will tell you, because they also do the same thing in their own country, that if you want to see, you know how this is done. There's a book written by the late Paramount Chief Palm Boyer, Jadung Madung Otho. How do you mourn him? And that is how we have mourned him today, as a great hero of the Luo community. This place, as we've already been told, is the citadel of education in Luo land. The late Paramount Chief Odera Kango, the pioneer of education here. And because of that, the game people went to school much earlier than other people. And the other time, very proud that in the game, is, we are teaming with intellectuals. People don't throw stones. Because if you throw a stone, you're likely to hit a professor, or a doctor, or a lawyer. But I think these days, other parts of the world have also caught up. It's okay. But that's why I'm also proud to be a son-in-law here. Okay, 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 okay